If you follow these five rules, then your brain will increase its power and it will become a brain that can stay resilient and strong despite whatever is around you. Hi guys, this is Linda. Welcome to Brain Education TV. If this is your first time, welcome. Please consider subscribing by clicking the subscribe button down below, like this video, and click the bell for notifications of each new episode. Today in this video, I'll be talking about a term called brain power. When you hear the word brain power, what do you think it means? Many people would think that brain power has to do with how smart you are. Let's say, for example, your IQ numbers or your test results or some kind of um, numerical value to determine how smart or intelligent you are. But do getting good scores and getting good numbers on performance tests really determine how actively or how well your brain is functioning? No! 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 Your IQ, your intelligence level, your test scores, how society tells you you are, all of these things have no influence on your actual brain power. So then what do I mean by when I say brain power? Brain power is the ability for somebody to use the power of their brain to create the life they want. Think about it. It's from your brain that we create all of these ideas, all of these inventions, all of these philosophies, politics, education, all of these gadgets and systems that we created in our modern world came from the human brain, which means that everything around us was created by us, created from the brain. And now we're the smartest brains in history, the people who did well in school. No, if you think about it, it's really funny to see how some of the most brilliant minds who came up with the most brilliant inventions are actually people who dropped out of school. They're the people who the teacher said that you'd amount to nothing. They're the people who their friends made fun of them and their society told them that you're not going to be anyone special, that you're hopeless, that you're a lost cause. So my point is that your smartness has nothing to do with how well you do in school or how high your IQ level is. Your brain power is the ability for you to use your own brain to create the life that you want. For example, if you want to be healthy, you know how to use your brain to create an environment of health inside of your body and outside. If you want happiness, you're somebody who can create feelings of joy and happiness even if there's nothing to be happy about around you. And lastly, you're somebody who can create feelings of peace, even if there's so much chaos, so, so much turmoil, so much fighting and arguing around you, you're able to create with the power of your own mind, an environment of peace that you can stay in. That is the true definition of brain power. That is the true definition of someone who is quote unquote smart. So how can we grow our brain power? There are five rules in which the brain operates. Number one, wake up and pay attention. Number two, good news makes a good brain. Number three, choose it and it will happen. Number four, be the master of time and space. Number five, design your environment and circumstances. If you follow these five rules, then your brain will increase its power and it will become a brain that can stay resilient and strong despite whatever is around you. Most people, their brains are victim to what's around them. If they have sadness, if they have chaos, if they have suffering around them, they fall into a state of chaos, suffering, and hardship. But someone who has really strong brain power is someone who can stay in an exact state that they want. They can stay happy even though the environment is sad. They can stay peaceful even though the environment is chaotic. They can stay healthy even though the environment is sick. Do you want to be that kind of person? Then first start with giving your brain positive information. Every single person has a good side and a bad side. Even if you're so caught up in your bad side that you can't see the good side of you, every single person has a good side and a bad side. But it's your choice on which side you choose to focus your mind on. If your mind is always looking at the bad side of you and only seeing this and refusing to see the good side, then your brain, yes, will be a total victim to the negative information inside of your brain. This is how people fall into negative thinking and they can't get themselves out. But if you know that, okay, I have a bad side, but I also have a good side and it is my choice which one I focus on, then you can start to at least inch slowly, 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 slowly here and see the positive sides 
to your body and to your brain. When you focus on the positive things, then your brain is filled with positive information about yourself and that positive information is what grows the capacity of your brain, is what unleashes the infinite potential that is inside. Think about it. Do you do better if someone criticizes you all the bad things that you do? Or do you feel more motivated and you do well when people encourage you, tell you that you can do it, and tell you good information about you? So the next time you think about brain power, think about it in terms of being somebody who can create the exact feeling and the exact circumstances, create the life they want using the power of their brain. I'll put some links in the description below about the five different brain operating system rules that I talked about earlier in this video so that you can know the details of each step and how to use them to grow your brain power. So what do you guys think? What do you guys think about this concept of brain power? Smart society, smart intelligence IQ versus true brain power. Which one do you want and which one resonates more with you? Let me know in the description below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for tuning in. See you in another video. Bye.